Zashi, our do-it-yourself guy, is here with us to talk about decoupage. You know what? When people hear decoupage, they think, ew. You know what? It's so strange. <laughs> a lot of people think, ew. I think people remember when they were in school and they were doing yes. like a decoupage turkey and stuff like that. But it's really <laughs> actually quite chic. So. Well, look at this. I Very. mean, this is what we're going to be making. We this are. We are. This is an incredible are. DIY project. Oh, thank you, Tracy. Thank oh, you. I think it's a very good idea. And this is like upcycling to a whole new level because I think everybody has old magazines sitting around the house, especially right. fashion magazines. And you're like, what do I do with them after the fashion's not so chic anymore? Right. So I take the magazines and I cut them up and I kind of pulled out some really cool sort of like kind of French slogans and I use this beautiful French magazine you can see she looks very sophisticated on the she cover really so does, and maybe somewhat angry um, a little bit you know it's the <laughs> French way it's all about fierceness so and okay, emaciation so we cut out a whole bunch of different words here <laughs> yes we did like we have Chanel, Chanel which is very French indeed oh you speak it so well I pretend very we have news. sexy <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna say anything other than sophistique because it's the only thing I practice so, so we take our little you cut pieces. them out I'm gonna take Chanel yeah. You take Chanel and then very simply, and you can do it with two products. You can do like the old, if anybody remembers Mod Podge oh, from yeah. back in the day. Mod Podge is still around. Uh -huh. This works really well, but I actually use just regular Elmer's white glue, which oh, was good. really easy. And the great thing about it too is uh, you can add on to this. This is a great even mother daughter project. You do like a vanity chair and kind of build nice. up on it over time, even photocopy some pictures down. We got this great book from the Fairmont Royal York Hotel, and it's all about the Canadian Pacific hotels, like the Chateau Frontenac. Mm. And we photocopy them down some of the pictures and just kind of put them on the chair as well just to bring a little bit more of that Canadiana vibe onto the chair. Good call. Love that because this must be like fairly layered. It is. It is. is That's it? the beautiful thing. If you make a mistake there's no real way of sort of placing it. You just kind of layer it, thicken it up in a couple of places yeah. where you've got detail like we have these beautiful rosettes that were carved into this old Victorian chair. Mm -hmm. We sort of just kind of took the sponge which I'll show you in a moment and this piece here which is actually from Mod Podge 2 and this is really helpful. It's like a little uh, rubber wedge yeah. and that helps you push the newspaper into any carving and as you can see it actually looks okay. quite nice. So, All right. so, so let's putting, get started. Are we putting, uh, what am I using? Is my, am I using the Elmer's glue? You're going to use the Elmer's glue. And so I just put it on the back? Yes, so you're just going to kind of put it on the back first and kind of soak it. So you want to get it really, really, really wet. Okay. But we don't want to tape it to our demo table. You don't, you don't. But it's Elmer's, so <laughs> it's washable because it's water soluble. Do. The thing okay, with good. the Mod Podge, uh, Mod Podge rather, is there's an extra finishing ingredient in it uh -huh. that finish it so that it's it's shellacked and so forth at the end. Yeah. But you could also use, um, if you're just going to do the Elmer's glue like we're doing, just kind of a spray lacquer and acrylic. Oh, that's good. And that good. goes over and that just kind of gives it a little bit more durability. That's a I good option. I didn't do that though because I actually thought it was pretty strong on its own. So I think it's a, an additional step that you might take, but you don't have to. So I can just put this anywhere? You can put it anywhere. You to be Actually, able to can see we show you that? Yeah. You should put it down the side. I know I'm telling you what to do, <laughs> but like down the leg. Oh, you want to look like that? Very sexy. That's very hot. See, Nicholas is telling me how to do it. Although you said it, yeah, I can't be wrong. That's no, what you you're told never me. wrong, and that's the whole thing. <laughs> I'm just telling you that because I like yeah, this it chair. Does look pretty, it does look I'd pretty like sexy. it there. He wants to keep it. Okay, I'll just listen to you. And that's I've got all right. this news one here, so we're gonna stick that on here somewhere as well. And you can wrap them kind of like almost like ribbons, just kind of drape them around. Yeah. And then you take your sponge again. Okay. And, oh, I stole yours. I'll take this one. There we and go. And you go over top. And you're gonna go over top, and you're just gonna really soak it. And the fun part, which brings us back to like, you know, grade school time, is you get your fingers in this project and you get all dirty yeah. and kind of squish out all the air bubbles because you don't want any air bubbles, otherwise it'll be kind of blotchy and bumpy later on. Okay. And um, sticky fingers and all, you're done. So Beautiful. really simple. I've all got right. another quick one too with newspaper as well. Yeah, okay. Well, why don't I tell uh, folks about how they can find the instructions? Because sometimes oh, yeah. you and I just go so quickly. We do, we do. Go to our website, cityline.ca, so you can figure out mm -hmm. how to do it. Your second, is this a second project? This is a second project, but it's really quick, and we just took the newspaper and we wove it. So I okay. did a herringbone, which looks complicated. Yes. But you can find oh, the instructions right online on how to do that. That it's is like so cool. It's like a basket weave, but that's a you know more elegant variation of the basket weave. So you cut it in strips and you weave them in and oh, out. Oh, yeah. And I just did it on my island at home. I taped them yeah. all out and just wove them in, you know, to and throw. It's like under two, over two. Yeah. And then that was the finished creation. We taped it to the back of the ghost chair, which is the more modern version of our little chair here today. Very nice. All the instructions on our website once again. Thanks, Absolutely. Nicholas. Very Thanks, nice. Tracy.